welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kirk Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. In addition, make sure to check out our full list of free webinars by going to www.pristine.com. Here's a highlight of some of the webinars we have throughout the month of October. So again, make sure to check out our webinar schedule and I encourage you to register and attend any and all that interest you. Taking a look at where things are at, starting in the upper left with Euro US dollar, uh, as we can see, did break out of a, a little bit of a range here coming up towards this prior pivot high. Uh, we'll see what happens ultimately. I mean, we are, as I said, getting a little bit of strength. We can see the uh, the two moving averages here starting to hook up, which is indicative of, of strength, which is being reflected based on the move up that we saw going into the end of last week. And like I said, we'll see if it can continue to gain momentum as we push up into and possibly through this prior high or is this going to be the top where price comes back down and basically continues to chop around within this sideways range on the daily chart so uh, time will tell I mean right now you definitely want to be looking for intraday strength as far as a swing bias is concerned not yet ready to be looking at taking a position one way or the other here on euro US dollar moving on over to Aussie US dollar multiple days up through this prior pivot high very nice move but at the same time it's now into this resistance to the left so uh, not not an ideal time to be getting long in fact I, I would be expecting that we're going to start to get a little top heavy here and and either consolidate which would be the most bullish scenario or price will begin to pull back and then form some kind of higher low. So, uh, you know, we'll see how, how this all plays out. L longer term, I do like how this is looking um, based on this W bottom and break through the neckline there. If we look at the weekly chart, you know, you can see the weekly chart starting to take some, some more bullish shape as well. Very strong candle completing last week. So we'll see. I mean, on the upside, we could be uh, watching this for a move towards the 0.7782 area in time so again I do think in the more immediate short term here we're going to be dealing with some kind of um, sideways action to to pulling back which would be healthy and then we could start looking to get long so intraday you'd be looking for a price to roll over and start pulling back where you could get some maybe uh, quick quick hitting short opportunities but at the same time look for buyers to step up at some lower levels New Zealand dollar US dollar Fairly similar uh, to Aussie dollar, US dollar, multiple days up, very nice follow through higher, just took out this prior pivot high up here. So we do have uh, a 100 to greater than 100% retracement based on that, which on one hand, again, is a sign of strength, but on the other hand, also suggests that price is going to need to either go sideways or pull back a bit here before then continuing to move higher once again looking at the weekly chart we can see a very strong move off the low right to the top of resistance so a clear line in the sand here which if we can get above really starts opening the door to some additional strength and the possibility over time for for this pair New Zealand dollar US dollar to make its way back up above the 0.7195 area uh, so so definitely want to keep our eyes peeled to that possibility could definitely start seeing a transition going on here but first things first